hello everyone welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming in this video we will see how define.xml would look like for a SDTM uh, submission so for every clinical trial so we collect data using the case report forms and that data we generally call it as raw data and then so we transform or organize the data collected or data present in raw data sets into SDTM structure then programmers use the programming specification to transform the raw data into SDTM data sets and these SDTM data sets are converted into XPT files and then submitted to the regulatory authorities along with the XPT files which contain the actual SDTM data so we also need to submit uh, define.xml annotated case report form and also the study data reviewers guide so what does define.xml contain so in order to transform raw data into SDTM data sets we have a document called specification which actually contains the information which will be used to uh, in which will be used to transform raw data into SDTM data sets so for the reviewers to make use of the SDTM data set they also need to understand what are the data sets present and what are the variables present in each of those data set and if anything is derived and how it is being derived and how or uh, the information is coming into a SDTM variable and an SDTM data set so that information would be captured as part of define.xml and in the annotated case report form we will contain unique forms used across uh, unique forms used within the study and along with the uh, CRF questions we put where that information is being mapped to in the SDTM data set so we put or annotate the SDTM variable or SDTM test CD values or whether it is particular CRF question is getting mapped to a particular supplementary domain or those things would be captured as part of the annotated case report form and then we also submit another document called study data reviewers guide so which will contain some additional information which is not part of define.xml so it may contain some additional description on derivation of some of the variables or some additional information for the domains uh, which are submitted as part of the submission so what does what are the main components of define.xml so it contains metadata or information about data about data so it contains information at data set level which means all the data sets that are being submitted and then we will contain the information related to what are the variables that are being submitted or uh, presented in each of the SDTM data sets and then for some of the variables we know that we will have a specific set of values for which control terminology is applicable and then we present the control terminology and then for some of the variables so the derivation would be dependent on the values present in some other variable say for example the result variable or derivation may be dependent on uh, the values present in test cd variable for some of the domains so in that cases we present value level metadata so in the example which I gave the derivation for uh, standard result variable may differ from test cd to test cd so in that case we will provide the derivation logic for uh, result variable at each test cd level so we call that information as value level metadata so we will now see how does a SDTM specification or define.xml would look like so we have so once we open this so we'll have the date of generation of define.xml and associated style sheet version and we on the top uh, on the left side we'll have the uh, navigation panel kind of thing so here we have hyperlinks for the annotated case report form reviewers guide and if we have any complex algorithms which are used to which contain uh, some complex derivation that derivation algorithms would be put in this separate document called complex algorithms and then we contain the list of data sets and that is presented as tabulation data set and then value level metadata control terminology computational algorithms and comments so here on the first when you open the define.xml what we see is this 
data set level metadata so in data set level metadata we submit the name of the data set and description which is the data set label and then we present the or uh, provide the class of the data set, sgtm classification of data set and then uh, we present uh, the structure record structure of a particular sgtm data set in this column and then the purpose of the data set when all the rows as these are sgtm data sets that would be tabulation and then the key variable that would be used to uniquely identify a record in the sgtm data set of interest and then i hyperlink to the xpt file and then some any additional document that the reviewers would uh, find it helpful so so we will have all the data set level information here so along with the c uh, key metadata items related to data sets and then now let us now try to navigate to a particular hmm. uh, data set which contains so if we click on say for example here the blue text demographics on dm domain so it would take us to the list of variables that are present in demographics domain so here if we now see for the uh, variable level metadata we present the name of the variable the label of the variable and what is the key uh, sequence with the uh, how the key variable what are the key variables are and then the type of the variable whether it contains character information or numeric information uh, the data types here within the defined out xml are more uh, divided when compared to character versus numeric within sas so if, for example for numeric type the components can be date or say for example integer or if we contain some decimal within the numeric type we present it as float so and then we also present the length of that variable and then if a variable has a uh, control terminology associated with it so we present uh, the list the control terms or if a format is applied to that variable we will list that here in this column and then we have the origin column to indicate whether the information is coming directly from a crf page or whether it is derived or whether it is manually assigned or the information is directly pulled from the protocol and then we have finally this column called derivation or comment column which contains some brief description about the derivation algorithm that is being used so we do not submit the raw data sets to the uh, regulatory authorities so we should not put any raw data set name or raw variable level information in this derivation or comment column of the defined out xml so any information that gets passed to the programmers is generally put in some additional column as part of the sgtm specification and we generally use a separate column for the description that has to be part of the defined out xml because we try to create defined out xml using our sgtm specifications using some standard macros so now we have seen like what is the information that is present in a variable variable level metadata now say for example if the investigator is interested in seeing the case report form a specific page where this information related to sex is being coming from so what they can do is they can just click on the associated hyperlinked page crf page number here if they click on this it would take to the relevant page on the crf form so here if you see the question related to gender whether the subject is male or female is uh, presented on uh, is collected on page 6 so here if you see on the annotation so the variable is annotated as sex which means this field or the this question of gender is being put in a variable called sex when dm is equal to demographics domain so when we have more than uh, when we have on a particular form if we have uh, information for more than one particular domain so we will use certain color coding to identify the questions marked uh, to that domain so here for demographics domain so light blue color is being used and for subject characteristic light green color is being used so this can vary from sponsor to sponsor or if you are following standard metadata submission guidelines so this will be consistent based on the standard so let us now go back
to the define.xml so now we have seen like how to go uh, and check the sdtm uh, annotated crf from uh, from within the uh, define.xml and then now we'll see how someone will be able to see what are the possible values for a particular variable when control terminology is applicable so for example when the list of values that is small so all the values can be listed here under controlled terminology or control terms value column or if the list is more we just will be having a hyperlink to the list of allowed values for that variable so let us now try to see what are the possible values for race variable in this uh, study so here now it quickly took us to the entire list of values that are possible as per this study's uh, data collection requirement so all the values are listed here similarly say for example here if we see uh, root of administration is being used so we have list of values that are applicable uh, for a particular root variable in one of the SDTM domains. So let us now go back so to the data set level metadata. So we have seen how to navigate to the list of control terminology values for a particular variable. Let us now go to one other domain so which is eg so to understand what is value level metadata. Here, if you see EGSTRESE, the there is a hyperlink present on this name of the variable. So, if the derivation of a particular variable is dependent on the value of some other variable, we explain the derivation in terms of at the value level. So, here we have let's go to EGSTRESC value level metadata and then see what is being done there. So here if you see the derivation comment or the derivation algorithm for uh, QTCB test CD and QTCF tests are different. So instead of putting every uh, derivation of these two test CDs for EGST RES in the data set level metadata, we have split it into two based on the value present in EG test CD variable so egst resc when eg test cd is equal to qtcb so this is the derivation algorithm that is being used and similarly for egst resc when eg test cd is equal to qtcf so this is the derivation logic or the comment associated with that variable values derivation so this is how we present value level metadata or use value level metadata for explaining something uh, when it is dependent on the value of some other variable so we have seen data set level metadata variable level metadata and value level metadata so if we have any complex derivation say for example i think we have a limit of around 1000 characters for a derivation or comment and if we have uh, much larger text or if you need much larger text to describe the derivation of something so we put it in a document called complex algorithms document and we hyperlink that document to within the define.xml so this is how define.xml will look like on a basic uh, structure wise so we have data set level metadata variable level metadata value level metadata control terminology and we also have the associated case report forms pages hyperlinked within the document so hope you have got a uh, basic understanding of define.xml and how it looks like thank you for watching and keep learning